Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. John Greenway and we at the moment we've not been with you for a while it's today is Monday the 12th of March we've not been with you since the summer of last year after we had the falling out with our brother and now we are heading to our new farm we have bought a farm here on a small village outskirts farm called Little Norton and uh, yeah, Little Norton Farm is now owned by John Greenway we are here on our well not on our own We've got Mrs Greenway who came yesterday and we just had to go and tidy up the last of the paperwork all of our equipment that we bought and the farm was bought at an auction and I think we need to go down here yeah, it's a nice looking area to try our own farming without our brother Since the falling out and selling of the farm, we are talking, so you may see Pete come and visit us. You never know. But he has stayed on at the piggery that we bought last off. He's really into his pigs, and I think that was the death knell actually when he talked me into getting into pigs. All he was interested in was working with them, so yeah, good luck to him. He's got three or four fields there that he can work. And he's got the land that we rented, he's still renting that. The farm that I lived on got sold. The farm that he lived on got sold. He moved. We want to be down, down here. Move the cattle grid. I think we're heading in the right direction for our farm. Apart from coming to look at the farm not really been down here much but we will be straight into work we need to get the land ploughed and drilled up we may just do you know I think we're on the wrong road here somewhere I think we've took a wrong turn in I think now we need to go Oh, I know where we've gone. Yeah, I recognise the little shop over there. This is a little village of Little Norton. As I say, it's a little village. A row of houses with a shop and a supermarket at the top end. And just down the road here should be Little Norton Farm the new home of John Greenway and here we are you know, we shall take you around in a bit and show you what we've got so we need to get into our gate Mrs Greenway left the garage open that's good of her we can pull the Land Rover 
into the garage. And that can be shut up now. And we shall start off showing you what we've got. We we bought a load of this stuff. This came with us from the other farm, as did this grant subsoiler. This the old the old owner of the farm actually had that and was working the sugar beet land with it. Not sure how it works, but we will give it a try. We purchased that at auction when this farm was sold off. They sold everything. Also, what we bought was this Class Dominator 108 SL. We bought that in the sale. It has got signs of wear on it. But the header, apparently, he had an accident, and that is a brand new header, what came last season. The baler we brought from the farm with us, the Mashio we purchased in the farm sale, the spray trailer we purchased here, the other one Pete's got. We bought this. Amazon plow, K, Amazon K run plow in the sale that we brought with us from the other farm, as with the sugar beet harvester. Now, uh, we shall climb over this gate and this gate as well, and we shall show you what we've got over here with the little sprayer. At uh, Amazon Profis, Profi S, we bought that in the sale. The Mergamax we brought with us. This we bought in the sale when the farm was sold. The Case 5150 Pro, it's the row crop tractor, does the potato harvesting and the fertilizing and spraying for us now. This also was in the sale and we bought it, the Fast Track 150 and it is actually the 60k gearbox on that so that will be our carting tractor for the most part. This, our New Holland T7 Blue Power we brought with us from the other farm as we did our 644 International which is the only loader tractor we've got at the moment and the major we sold the front loader for it we don't really use it much down here I want to the little useless barns there that don't do anything much we've got a little workshop here we've got some tools a little press battery charger a couple of toolboxes here. Why there's two tool toolboxes, I don't know. And this came with us from the other farm. The buckets are brand new. We purchased them. They were delivered. That's why Mrs. Greenway came yesterday. As these were delivered. That picks three bales up in a stack. So we'll give that a try. The last of the trailers we bought came with us the seed drill came with us as did the sugar beet drill so we now need to jump aboard our blue power and go and get the plow on make a start on the plowing Oh, we haven't told you what field we've got, let's just bring the app up on the phone. As you see, we own fields 26, 27, 38, 39, 40 and 41. That's the land we bought when we bought the farm. Somebody here waiting to come in. But thank you for waiting, buddy. So, we shall get this plough put on. Get some of this land ploughed. 
for the most part we will be turned over like so not sure what this plough is like the one we had before was pretty good but uh, no, we just want to bring the thing up near my phone so now we've got to work our way out these gateways are a little bit take a little bit used to getting out of there we are, we cleared that, that's lovely so we are going to go over to field 27 and I'm not sure where the gateways are for these fields at the moment lovely small farm here, that's a neighbouring farm I think he bought a bit of the good bit of the equipment that they sold don't need to close the gate, it's not in the way so we can unfold our plough turn on Now I can't remember how to turn the GPS on on this tractor. There it is, we've got it on. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. In a fashion. So let's now enable guidance steering. Show the lines to start us off. It's not throwing or headland mode on. Stop at 9 metres will do. Auto width. Invert offset. That looks about right. Set marker line A. Okay, we shall now set marker line B. Okay, so now then we can now get ourselves back into the position and make a start on the ploughing <coughs> so yeah it's as you see nice area of field this one we've got one or two good fields on here we will be doing our best to expand the farm as we go forward okay we will go this way around out get a good start in and then we should work to that end and then turn around and go to that end but for the most part you won't see what we're doing because we will be doing a lot of it off camera now because we were showing you around the farm and traveling here this morning Now we 
now set in nicely. Traffic moves around here at a good old pace, so don't hang about around here. Downside to having a straight road there, not a twisty old road, I think. The good thing is it keeps out of your way when you're carting and, well, for the most part, keeps out of your way when you're on the road. Get a lot of this work done. We do a lot of the work ourselves here. Mrs. Greenway may help us at times. But other than that, for the most part, we shall be working all by ourselves. We'll put the drone up and show you the tractor working and the local area around us once we get turned around we shall spin the drone around. In and there it is, all around there, forests in the distance, hills right out in the distance, not air balloon there, floating about, but that is the area we work, beautiful countryside, I think me and Mrs Greenway are going to be happy on the farm. Plowing done before we do anything. He has told us when we bought the farm, the old guy who had it before us, that he hadn't ploughed for three or four seasons. So he said it'll need a good ploughing before you work it. So we shall get the plough on every field. What we're doing, because it's an old cattle farm, whether we buy any cattle going forward, I don't know, it's a downfall to Greenwich Valley, but then we haven't got my brother with us this time, have we? Wrong one. holding the flower up there. They drill some spring wheat on the land, spring barley. We will be hopefully getting some sugar beet and potatoes in the ground this season as well. See how we go going forward now. It is great to be back farming again. I've been just been helping a few guys out on their farm since me and Pete fell out and sold Greenwich Valley Farm and its surrounding areas, what we owned. By the time we bought the farm and messed about, so cleared all our debts and everything, leaves us with just, I think, £106,000 in the bank, is it? Yeah, £106,184 it leaves us with. But, the good thing is, we've got everything we need, apart from the seed we're going to need and the fertiliser, the 
<coughs> herbicide wagon was actually full once we, when we bought the trailer at the farm sale when we bought the farm so everything was pretty good on that fertilizer and seed we are going to need for a plough so it's doing a decent job on the farm which is good not spoke to the to the guy across the way there he's mainly into his chickens I think he's also got some rare breed chickens on there with the breeds and I was told when we was at the farm sale anyway. Not sure how much land he owns but we know he's got the far little small farm there so he's only got a small bit of land near the yard there where he grows a bit of wheat for his own chickens and maybe a source of help at times when we're busy. As you'll see as we go forward. Uh, yeah, so for today that is where we're going to leave you for today. We will continue on and get some of this ploughing done. So until you join us next time, hope you enjoyed today's vlog on our new farm. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel give that bell a ring it will tell you when we do these farming when we do the racing until you join us next time thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your saturday and Goodbye for now.